All right, guys. You're probably not as excited as I am, or maybe you are, but we just got a package in from Brazil for the TBR7. I know you guys probably know what this is, but I am so excited to open it. So let's go ahead and do an unboxing of this special package from Brazil. We're gonna use our, our new little OTF knife that my brother actually got me um, as a groomsman gift for his wedding. So let's open this baby up. Oh boy. Check this out. Not one, but four of these camshafts. Here it is. Look at this thing. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's see if we can get the GoPro to focus a little bit. But yeah, so you can see, I got not one of these camshafts, but four, um, because two of my friends wanted one, and one of these is for the giveaway. So this is proof for the giveaway. I will be giving out one of these camshafts to you guys, um, and I will be announcing how you can win one of these camshafts here soon. So stay tuned for that, but let's get on with the rest of the video. Alright guys, so it is time to finally install the camshaft, the roller followers, and the thinner head gasket from CSC. I have gone ahead and I've already taken off all the plastics that needed. It's just your side, your side panels, your seat, and your tank. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and take off a couple more things really quickly. Pretty straightforward. I showed how to do it in a couple of my other videos. But you're going to go ahead and take off the header, uh, the valve cover, and then start working on this side cover here and make sure you get your motor at top dead center and then go ahead and take out all these bolts like I did already and uh, go ahead and get that off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is why I do this and to show you guys, there was a bolt right in there. Just this little guy right in there that I didn't see. and. Uh, he held this whole thing up. I hit it one time and it's coming loose already. Look at that. Come on earth, we're pulling the whole starter out with us. All right, you stay on there, good sir. Stay, stay. Okay. All right guys, so we got the cover off. And I did notice that this guy right here, kind of the end cap for the, the starter, it moves. So this is kind of, there's a seal in here, but it's not connected to the side of this case. Um, so I undid these two screws because I thought it was a part of the case. Uh, I was wrong. <laughs> you can see in Oddball Performance's video that he never undid those and it came off. I think undoing those screws made it easier to come off, but now say your, your starter just, just kind of loose in there and you can pull it out like that. Um, so something to think about, but next I'm not going to take off the flywheel yet. I'm going to take off the rockers, the push rods, and then the head, and then work our way down the motor to the cam. So I'm going to go ahead, pull these guys off. Pretty sure they're 12 millimeters, lift the valve train off, and then get to the push rods. Just pull those suckers out, undo the head bolts and lift the head. I'll see you in just a second. Yo, got the head off. Take a look at our piston. Looks pretty good. All right. So yeah, got the head off. Let's go set it down over here. Let's take a look at how the ports look. Ports look good. All right. Go. And we're now 
going to need this where we're going. Ooh, let's not mix up those dowels. Oh, come on, you. So yeah, we're not going to need this thick head gasket anymore where we're going. We're going thin head gasket. All right, guys, so now to this point, we're going to lift the cylinder off. Basically, just loosen these two little 10 millimeter guys. Um, give it one, two easy little whacks with the rubber mallet. It should loosen right up. Uh, I believe the best way to lift this off is to be on this side of the bike, on the right hand side of the bike. Give it a couple wiggles. And lift that guy up. Is the cylinder oh, looks good no scoring whatsoever we love that all right now we're gonna sit this down over here because our raw our uh, cam followers are in there and now we can see where our camshaft and everything is I'm probably gonna go in and grab some rags to put in here so nothing gets in there. I don't think anything's gonna get in there anyway, but maybe I'll grab some rags. Don't wanna use paper towels because they leave behind a residue and that could get in there. But, all right, now I believe it is time to pull this flywheel off. All right guys, so a little side note, make sure you get the right flywheel puller because the one that I had was not correct and I'm here the next day doing this. Um, I put everything back on the bike just kind of loosely like hand tight just so it sealed off the motor and now I'm back Finally got the flywheel puller off to save you guys a bit of a headache um, The bolt for it is an m16 by one and a half So you don't need to order a puller you can just get a bolt. I'm pretty sure it is an m16 by one and a half um, If someone proves me wrong Please let me know and I will update this information, but I'm 99% sure it is an M16 by one and a half bolt is all you need to pull the flywheel on this. You just put it in, it pushes up against the crank here and then backs the flywheel off. Just hit it a couple times with a with a light impact gun, it'll come right off. So now all, all there, there was here was a little spring and a little guard. And I'm pretty sure we can just pull this bad boy out with a pair of pliers. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and lift the cam out. All right guys. I, mean, I, think I already kind of wiggled this around just back and forth, back and forth to get it loose. But then what you're going to do is just grab it with the pliers, probably the corner of it, lift the cam just a little bit, comes right out. And there we go. Let's put this over here. Boom. And let's install the new camshaft on that gear. All right guys, so we went ahead and pressed it on. You wanna make sure you line up your pin on this guy. And note, you need a press to do this. Um, there's another method you can try. You can try freezing this cam, uh, the cam lobe, and then heating up, heating up the, the gear wheel. And that can make them made off. And you can also try maybe using a torch to heat this up heat up the wheel and this might slide out. But I just went over to a buddy of mine's house and he had a press. So we went ahead and pressed the old cam out and just pressed the new cam in. Took literally all of five seconds, but now we can see the difference in these cams. This one looks like it's bigger and taller, but it's just sitting upright. But we can see the difference in duration. Quite a bit of difference. So added duration should really help us out. Um, the other thing on this guy, this little mark right here, this is your timing mark, and it's gonna line up with the timing mark on the crankshaft. Let me see if I can show you that. Yeah, there's a little timing mark right in there. So this lines exactly up with that timing mark. So we're gonna drop this in. And 
take a little tiny bit of white out and just dab the edge of the gear and that way it'll be easier to see. Uh, you can see those two little white marks are straddling the tiny mark. So now I know that the cam is in the correct position and from here on out it's really just reassembling the motor. Um, I do have something quick to explain on these guys. I already went ahead and installed the followers in here um they do go obviously a certain way and when you install them you'll be able to see the where the push rods sit in there basically if you hold them up together the push rod pieces should kind of align and that's how you know they're the right way if you switch them around oh, come on oil is slippery switch them around they don't align whatsoever so having the one way it'll be obvious you can always look down in the holes to see but this basically just pulls out there's a little washer on the end you don't want to lose um, and you stick them right in and there they are make sure you oil them up before you install it I'm gonna oil everything uh, for final installment and I'm gonna go ahead and put the bike back together I will include Torque specs in the description below of stuff that I'm specking. Um, a lot of stuff is just going to be, you know, wrench tight. But obviously, the cylinder will be torqued down, the head will be torqued down, valve train will be torqued down. Uh, flywheel, I'm just going to be using an impact, an electric impact. Nothing too aggressive, but it's just so it seats. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of this back together. Okay guys, so a little bit of information here. Um, when you install the followers, this needs to be pointing directly upwards because down in here is a slot for this one head bolt, the one really long one, this guy right here. Uh, it fits down in there and stops this from rotating. So this needs to be directly up and down so this can go down in. Just another little bit of information that you might not know. All right guys, so after many hours, I am proud to present to you the first cammed Towntown TBR7. Now I didn't mess with any jetting. It's still the same jetting that it was before, um, but it starts up and I'll show you that here. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope I inspired some of you guys to take on this job. It is a job. I mean, it is a task to do. This took me way longer than I expected. Um, forgot that I needed a, to get a press. Didn't have a press, had to go to a friend's house to get a press. But I'm overall pleased. I have not ridden the bike yet. I'm actually leaving to go to school tomorrow. Bike's coming with me though. So I will be doing stuff to the bike and I will be updating you guys with that. Um, so other than that, please like the video, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.